I find united graffitied on my parents' stone. How many British graveyards now this May are strewn with rubbish and choked up with weeds since families and friends have gone away for work or fuller lives like me from Leeds. When I first came here 40 years ago with my dad to see my grandma, I was seven. I helped dad with the flowers. He let me know she'd gone to join my granddad up in heaven. My dad, who came each week to bring fresh flowers, came home with clay stains on his trouser knees. Since my parents' death, I've spent two hours made up of odd ten minutes such as these. Flying visits once or twice a year. And though I'm horrified, just who's to blame that I find instead of flowers, cans of beer and more than one grave sprayed with some skin's name. Where there were flower urns and troughs of water and mesh receptacles for withered flowers are the harp tins of some skinhead lead supporter. It isn't all his fault, though. Much is ours. Five kids with one in goal play to a side when the ball bangs on the hawthorn that's one post and petals fall, they hum, here comes the bride, though not so loud they'd want to rouse a ghost. They boot the ball on purpose at the trunk and make the tree shed showers of shriveled may. I look at this word graffitied by some drunk and I'm in half a mind to let it stay. Though honesty demands that I say if I'd wanted to take the necessary pains to scrub the skin's inscription off, I only had an hour between trains. So the feelings that I had as I stood gazing and the significance I saw could be a sham. Mere excuses for not patiently erasing the words sprayed on the grave of dad and ma'am. This pen's all I have of magic wand. I know this world's so torn, but want no other, except for Dad, who'd hoped from the beyond a better life than this one with, with my mother. Though I don't believe in afterlife at all, and know it's cheating, it's hard not to make a sort of furtive prayer from this skin's scrawl, his united mean in heaven for their sake. An accident of meaning to redeem an act intended as mere desecration and make the thoughtless spraying of his team apply to higher things and to the nation. Some where kids use aerosols, use giant signs to let the people know who's forged their fetters, like price a whales above West Yorkshire mines. No prizes for who nicked the missing letters. The big blue star for booze. Tobacco ads, the magnet's monogram, the royal crest, insignia in neon, dwarf the lads who spray a few odd fucks when they're depressed. Letters of transparent tubes and gas in Dusseldorf a blue and flash out Krupp. Arms are hoisted for the British ruling class and clandestine, genteel agro keeps them up. And there's Harrison on some Leeds building sites I've taken in fun as blazoning my name, which I've also seen on books in Broadway lights. So why can't skins with spray cans do the same? But why inscribe these graves with cunt and shit? Why choose neglected tombstones to disfigure this Pitman's of last century, daubed packy git, this grocer broadbent's aerosoled with nigger? They're there to shock the living, not arouse the dead from their deep peace to lend support for the causes skinhead spray cans could espouse. The dead would want their desecrators caught. 
jobless though they are, how can these kids, even though their teams lost one more game, believe that the packies, niggers, even yids sprayed on the tombstones here should bear the blame? What is it that these crude words are revealing? What is it that this agro act implies? Giving the dead their xenophobic feeling or just a creed occur because man dies? Sir, what's a creed occur, cunt? Can't you speak the language that your mum spoke? Think of her. Can you only get your tongue round fucking Greek? Go and fuck yourself with creed occur. She didn't talk like you do for a start, I shouted, turning where I thought the voice had been. She didn't understand your fucking art. She thought your fucking poetry obscene. I wish on this skin's word, deep aspirations. First the prayer for my parents I can't make, and a call to Britain and to all the nations, made in the name of love for peace's sake. Aspirations, cunt. Folk on fucking dole have got about as much scope to aspire above the shit they're dumped in, cunt, as coal aspires to be chucked on fucking fire. Okay, forget the aspirations. Look, I know United's losing gets you fans incensed and how far the harp inside you makes you go, but all these Vs, against, 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 I'll tell you then, what really riles a bloke. It's reading on their graves the jobs they did. Butcher, publican and baker. Me, I'll croak, doing the same nout I do now as a kid. Hard birth I was, me mam says. I almost killed her. Death after life on dull won't seem as hard. Look at this cunt, Wordsworth, organ builder. This fucking aberdasher, apple yard. If me mam's up there, don't want to meet her, listening to me list me dirty deeds, and have to pipe up to St. fucking Peter, I've been on dole all my life, in fucking Leeds. Then hallelujahs stick in angels' gobs, when dull wallers fuck off to the void. What'll Mason carve up for their jobs? The cunts who lieth here were unemployed. This lot, this lot, Worked at one job all life through. Byron, Tanner, lieth ear interred. They'll chisel fucking poet when they do you. And that, you cunts, a crude four letter word. Listen, cunt, I said. Before you start your jeering, the reason why I want this in a book is to give ungrateful cunts like you a hearing. A book, you stupid cunts, not worth a fuck. The only reason why I write this poem at all on yobs like you who do the dirt on deaths to give some higher meaning to your scroll. Don't fucking bother, cunt. Don't waste your breath. You piss-artist skinhead cunt. You wouldn't know, and it doesn't fucking matter if you do. The skin and poet united fucking Rambo, but the autre, the je hais, is fucking you. I've told you, no more Greek. That's your last warning. <laughs> I'll boot your fucking balls to kingdom come. They'll find you cold on grave tomorrow morning. So don't speak Greek. Don't treat me like I'm dumb. I've done my bits of mindless aggro too. Not half a mile from where we're standing now. Yeah, bet you wrote a poem, you wanker, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut your gob a while. I'll tell you how. Herman Daruski's band played operetta with a wobbly soprano warbling. Just why I made my mind up that I'd got to get her with a fire hose, I can't say, <laughs> but I'll try. It wasn't just the singing angered me. At the same time, half a crowd was jeering as the smooth Hugh Gateskill RMP made promises the other half were cheering. What I hated in those high soprano